an upcoming hip surgery, or they know they have an upcoming knee replacement, or they know they have an upcoming skin cancer surgery or earlobe repair, or they just think they need something to support their wound healing better because they keep tripping and falling, that type of thing. Juven winds up being about $5 and 50 cents a day. So for a two week supply, Mm -hmm. it's not bad. It's $77. So I, you know, a lot of my patients are like $5 and 50 cents a day. I think I can do that to help to support my wound healing. So I heal faster. So it's something that patients kind of resonate with, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's not, it's not awful. I mean, I, I tell everybody, um, the air that you breathe is free and the sun is free, but you know, that would be about it. That's true. Very true. Yeah. Skin mm-hmm. checks. How often do we get our skin checked? Well, it depends if you have a history of skin cancer in your family. So um, the majority of patients I recommend do a total body check. That's when we board certified dermatologists, not your regular internist, do a head to toe where we look through your hair, we look in your ears, we look in your mouth, we look kind of everywhere between your toes on the bottoms of your feet and make sure you have nothing suspicious. So if you have no history of skin cancer, that should be once a year. Now, if you have a pre-existing family history of skin cancer, perhaps that's more like twice a year. And if you have a personal history of skin cancer, then that can be, depending on what skin cancer it is, that can be as often as every three months. And the key thing with moles changing and lesions changing is people help us. So they'll come in and say, this looks different. And if they have any suspicion that something is changing, if they're Um, their partner tells them this on their back looks different. This on their leg looks different. It's important that they get right in to see somebody. So that that's really critical because at that point, patients help us to help them realize that there's an issue and there's a problem. And if they have a non-healing pimple, getting back to acne, acne heals, acne goes away. If you have something that's been on your nose for more than two and a half, three months, that's not normal. And, you know, if you're younger, even shorter than that. So you should get that checked out too, because I wouldn't want that to be a skin cancer. So it's really important to just be aware. And for people that don't have their own dermatologist, there are different atmospheres where they can go into different clinics or different urgent care centers and get the help that they need. And if they need to be farmed out because they need further help, then that can occur as well. Renowned dermatologist, Dr. Jeannie Downey, we're talking everything healthy skin and surgical incisions and more. Okay, sunscreen. You go buy sunscreen and there's so many different levels of sunscreen. Does it matter? Yes, it does. So sunscreen, according to the Skin Cancer Foundation, not according to me, needs to be an SPF of 30 or more, rain or shine, January through December, like I said. So an SPF of 15 gives you a 93.5% protection from the sun's rays. Knowing that people put sunblock on thinner than they should, when you jump up to an SPF of 30, that gives you 96.3% protection from the sun's rays. So it's another 3.1 percentage points higher just from going from a 15 to a 30 because people People don't put the 30 on properly either. Some blocks, the SPF level levels off at around an SPF of 45 or 50 to somewhat of a 97 or a 97.2% protection from the sun's rays. But the bottom line is that it does matter. So it needs to be a 30 or above. And if you live in Miami where you grew up, then it should be every hour, believe it or not, because you're closer to the equator, that you should be reapplying the sunblock. And if you're up in the Northeast, perhaps then it's every two to three hours, that type of thing. But sunblock should definitely be reapplied a minimum of twice during the day, regardless of whether or not you go outside. I like that. So does it make a difference if it's 30, 50, 70, or is it all the same thing once it gets up past there? After 30 is the base, um, 50 is the top, and then 70 is all the same thing. But, you know, why not a 70? That's fine, too. That's what I, that's what I say. That's what I do for but my kids. But just well, this... don't get the false sense of protection. Yes, know, yes, yes. We would never do that, Dr. Jeannie Downey. Never do that. It was such a pleasure. I'd love to learn so much. I'd love to hear all about skin, and it's really important. And um, you've taught us some great – you gave us some great tips today. So I can't thank, thank you, you enough for being here. Come back anytime. We all want to so have much. beautiful skin like yours, and it's so important to keep our skin healthy. Absolutely. Love your energy, Wendy. Have a wonderful day. You too. Thanks Thanks so so much. much. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining me on this episode of What's Up with Wendy. If you love this episode, head over to iTunes or your favorite platform to subscribe, rate, and leave a review. Please also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at What's Up with Wendy. You can learn more about my podcast on my website, whatsupwithwendy.com. Until next time, this is Wendy Lowy Sloan. Keep being kind.